Hi guys, today I want to do lattice parameter calculations at finite temperature. So in my previous video, I have done calculations at 0 Kelvin. So that is a molecular static simulations where I use just a conjugate gradient method to calculate the least energy, least energy state. From there, I'll get the lattice constant. But in the real life or in experiments such as XRD or SEM or TEM, you calculate the lattice parameter at room temperature. So today I want to do calculations at room temperature, let's say 300 Kelvin. So for that, we have to use molecular dynamics because previously I just used molecular statics for 0 Kelvin. So in this molecular dynamic simulations, I will show you what parameters that you have to take care. So let's go to the code. So I want to show you the code that I have used. So in this code, the, I initialize the simulations uni using units command. I give the dimension as three and I give periodic boundary conditions along the three directions and I give atomic style at atom. And then I use the create, I create the atoms using the lattice command and I create the box. Later, I create the atoms uh, using the create atoms command. Then I replicate the box along each direction by 20 lattice units in each direction. Then I define the interatomic potential as you know. So I use EIM potential and the paired coefficient is nickel aluminum hydrogen. So there is a nickel nickel interaction. Then I use the NIBOR command to a NIBOR, NIBOR modify command to calculate the common neighbors each time because I'm using an FCC there are 12 common neighbors for each atom so if there is any change in the common neighbors that will be stored inside the system it that will be stored inside the system uh, information uh, for each 10 thermodynamic steps then I use the compute command to compute the new temperature at each thermodynamic step then I, so here I start my simulation. So first I give the positions which I have already done here. Now I give the velocities. So the velocity I use, I give a very less velocity like uh, 300 into some 1 by 3, 1 by 30,000 which is like 0 0.01. And then I give a random number and I give velocity to this new temperature. So uh, in the molecular dynamic simulations first we give the positions then we give the velocity then we choose the ensemble so the ensemble we choose is NPT so why we are choosing NPT because we are putting pressure and temperature as constants we don't put the volume as constant because we are trying to relax the system and when there is relaxation the box or the atoms move away or closer to each other so there will be a volume change as a whole in the system so we don't put volume constant now we output the lattice constant using the thermo 100 so at each 100 steps the uh, the lattice constant is stored now we use something called run 2000 uh, 20000 so that uh, to relax the system so we run until 20,000 thermodynamic steps and we see the values. So the final values are outputted using these commands. Now let's run our code. So we run our simulation. So the simulation starts with step 0 and we have the lattice parameter is going to 3.52. So into 20 is 70.4. So we have 20 unit cells which has a total end of 70.4 and now the lattice constant slowly changes as well as the temperature is also changing slowly. So I will show you the calculation results. So these are the results which I have done uh, before making this video. So at each thermodynamic step you see the temperature is changing as well as the lattice constant is changing. So at a certain point we see the 300 Kelvin temperature is reached as well as the lattice parameter is changing. Now uh, finally my simulation ended after 6 minutes. So what I do right now is I find out the average lattice constant. So I go to my excel sheet 
so i see uh, i have outputted all my step my lx lz as well as the temperature into an excel sheet so i see where from where the 300 kelvin is starting so from here from here you see a constant a uh, small deviation from 300 kelvin but you can see a constant value near which is near to 300 so i take my average from 8700 and then until the uh, until the 20000 thermodynamic step i take my average and then i divide it by 20 because i'm using 20 lattice units so i divide by 20 then i get my equilibrium lattice parameter and the standard deviation is like 0.012 so this value is like acceptable value so this value we have to use whenever we do calculation at finite temperature so this is my video on molecular dynamic simulations on how to calculate the lattice parameter at finite temperature thank you very much for watching this video if you have any comments or if you want any molecular dynamic simulation please let me know i will make more videos with more complexity involved and give more details as we go on so that this will be useful for you thank you very much for watching this video